Hi, my name is Dave Young from the Vistalar Training Group. I want to talk about escape tactics for a kid. You know, I grew up in Hialeah, Florida, and it wasn't a safe area at all. In fact, uh, most kids knew how to fight before they were eight, before they learned how to really do too much of anything. You were fighting back in the day basically just for survival of the fittest. It didn't matter if you belonged to a specific religious group or a specific um, uh, race or, or, or ethnicity. The fact is that when you're going to be outside by yourself, your kids might have to physically defend themselves. Now don't think of kids taking fighting stances and taking poses and physically engaging your threats, but having them think smartly of just keeping the distance and creating distance. If they see someone approach them they're not familiar with, maybe step behind the table or behind a chair. Make sure they keep that minimum distance so they can stay just outside of being physically grabbed. Also, another tip I want to share with you is if your kids happen to be grabbed and they feel the person is too physically, uh, too stronger or bigger than them to break away from them, you know, yelling and screaming works, but sometimes it triggers the bad guy to punch and really injure your child. So you might have to just play limp and faint and go unconscious, and sometimes an unconscious kid will attract attention from some of the strangest people, and these people might be able to come over and help. But regardless on what you decide to do, just make sure they have a plan and they're safe and practice that plan.